guys, welcome back to my channel. I know I just did a video updating you guys on my bariatric surgery, but I didn't expect to do one for several months because I didn't think I would get a surgery date for several months. To my surprise, when I called them a few days ago looking to book my surgery, they had an opening at the end of August. So I will be having surgery three weeks from today. And I am equal parts terrified and excited about that. Now, prior to surgery, I have to do a liquid diet. That starts today. This is my life for the next three weeks. It is a medically supervised protein shake, so I had to drive down to Toronto yesterday and pick up four, six, six huge boxes full of the powder envelopes for this. They only offer two varieties, so I bought a week's worth of vanilla and two weeks worth of chocolate. By all accounts, the first few days are the hardest, and then you hit ketosis, and that kind of curbs the hunger, so I'm a little nervous for the next few days. I'm also nervous just for the whole three weeks because that like hand to mouth thing is gone, but I'm viewing it as a detox. It is a necessary evil. It has to be done, and they will know if I don't do it. The reason I have to do it is because they need to shrink the liver down and get as much fat away from the liver as possible so that when they go in laparoscopically, laparoscopically, they can see what they're doing. Uh, so if I cheat along the way, the liver's not going to be small enough and then they're going to have to reschedule the surgery, which just means I'm going to have to do all this all over again. So I'm just going to commit to it. Okay, with that background out of the way though, um, I am getting ready for work, so I need to just get started with that while I chit chat. <sighs> Cheers. Here we go. It's not bad. It's really not. I added water and ice, so it's got like a nice slushy consistency to it. I mean, it tastes like a protein shake, but it's not super gritty. It's got a little bit of an aftertaste. I'm sure by the end of August, I'm going to test this, but for right now, it's not a bad start. Okay, I just kind of wanted to chat about the channel. I know I did that in my last update video, which I think was like only two videos ago, but I didn't expect, like I said, to be sitting here with a surgery date so quickly. Um... So, it is a whole process. So they don't just like give me the surgery date and I show up and that's the end of it. I, like I said, had to drive down to Toronto yesterday to pick up, it's called OptiFast, to pick up the OptiFast. I'm gonna have to go back to Toronto again on Tuesday to sign all the consents and meet with the surgeon again. Um, just to put that into context, I live, it's about an hour's drive from where I go in Toronto. It's not like right downtown Toronto. Anyways, it's about an hour if the traffic cooperates and sometimes it doesn't. So I gotta go on Tuesday, sign all of that. I have to make an appointment with my doctor because they need to fill out this big questionnaire thing for the anesthesiologist. <coughs> and honestly, I can't remember if my doctor orders the blood work and I do it up here or if I have to meet with the nurse. I think I meet with the nurse at the preoperative clinic. So that's another trip into Toronto. Um, and they'll do another 11 vials of blood. Um, but they check everything. They check every mineral level, all of that. And I guess it's, I suppose in a way it's designed to make sure that you're healthy enough to go forward with surgery, but also to give like a bit of a baseline so that if your iron levels are lower after, they know sort of what the baseline norm was for you. I don't know, I don't question a lot of things. Um, stuff like doing blood work, I'm not like, but why though? Uh, I just do it, it's, it's not worth fighting about. Um, Cause it's gonna happen anyways, so why be a jerk, right? So I gotta go down and meet that. I gotta meet with the anesthesiologist. So that's yet another trip. Um, so it's a lot, like it's going to be a lot of driving back and forth and it's going to be very hectic because i got to cram all of this in within a very short amount of time. You're going to hear my kids in the background, we're all getting ready in the morning and they're just outside of my filming door down here in the basement. 
Um, so it's okay. Like it's it's hectic, but it's a stepping stone, right? It, it is what it is, and even if I waited, it's still going to be a lot of driving. It's not like I'm going to miss any of those appointments. It's just there might be a little bit more time to schedule things, but right now I'm going to make it work. I have two really good lawyers that I work with, so they will assist with my files and they will cover what they need to and all that kind of stuff. So I have no real concerns there. I will be off for three weeks after the surgery and we had a pre-planned um, week of vacation, which happens to coincide. So we've shifted the dates a little bit. So Thursday, the 22nd, I think, um, we will start our vacation till the following Thursday. We've rented a cottage. Uh, and then I go in for surgery on the Friday and I'm off for three weeks after that. So in essence, I'm off for a month. So uh, in terms of my channel and the surgery stuff, like I, I want to give updates like this and I want to do little, I don't know if it's going to be weekly or what. I, again, it doesn't matter. It's going to happen when it happens and I'm not going to force it. I, I, I feel like sharing what I'm going through can be helpful for other people. Dealing with obesity, let's call it what it is, um, can feel very lonely because you know you look at so many other people who aren't where you're at and you're like, what makes me so different? What, why is it me? Why me? Kind of deal. Um, and it can feel very lonely. It can feel like nobody will really understand. Um, there's this perception that being overweight is gross or means you're lazy or dumb or something like that. I've got another hair on my face, damn it. But that is not the case at, at all. And I know I myself tell myself that even though I know it's not true. It's just this little voice in my head that is very mean. It's a bit of an asshole, really. Um, so if I can share and people can see just a regular special and just a regular person um, and if I can slay this particular dragon and if I can help in any way and just reassure people that you guys aren't alone then I would like to do that so what I intend to do is just create a playlist on my channel so if you are interested in this bariatric journey you can just go to the playlist and you'll find all the videos grouped there. If you're not interested in it, you can just skip that video. Um, this in no way is going to become a weight loss channel. <coughs> um, that is not my intention. I don't want to just talk about this, but it is going to feature heavily as I'm going through this process because of course it would. If I was doing any other kind of surgery, I would talk about that. If I was nervous about a wedding coming up, I would talk about that. If I was pregnant, I would talk about, you know what I mean? Like, it is an aspect of my life and it is a major aspect of my life right now. So I am going to talk about it and I'm not going to apologize for that. Sorry. <laughs> As I say, sorry, sorry. That's just my, oh, I did it again. That's my Canadian uh, heritage shining through. So I will do a little playlist and I'll update along the way because I know that I have been looking for videos of people who have survived this, looking for tips and tricks. Um, and a lot of the people who have channels talking about bariatric surgery started them after their surgery. Uh, and I know there's been at least one, and I can't remember her name. I can't remember her name. Um, but she was saying that she wished she'd started it earlier so that she could see the progression in herself of even just the mindset. At any rate, I also want to document just so that I can see the progression in terms of physically, let's be honest, uh, but also just like the emotional side of it and the confidence and whatnot. I was talking to Barry about this last night. We went for dinner at the keg um, as my final supper and it was delicious as always. And I was saying like, when you are, well, for me, I can only speak for me, I don't know for anybody else, but for me, I spend a lot of mental bandwidth thinking about my weight, food, 
what I'm going to eat, what I shouldn't eat, what I have eaten, uh, all of that. I berate myself. I just spend so much energy thinking about food and weight and my body and people's perception of me and my own perception and it's exhausting. It is exhausting. But I'm really hoping that a lot of that mental energy is just freed up. All right, it's clearly not a day for winged eyeliner, so flick it is. Uh, some days it's just not meant to be. Okay, so what I was saying is that I hope it frees up that. I'm also really hoping that my confidence increases. And I, I just, I don't want to be that person who says no to things because I'm embarrassed about how I look. And like, I know I'm, <coughs> I've had so many people comment on like, how I'm body positive and this and that. I am very body positive about other people's bodies. It's a little bit harder when I'm talking about myself. Um, I can sit here and say, it's just a body. It's just a body. We're so much more than our bodies, this and that and the other thing. And I do believe that, but it's still just this, constant internal struggle where it's like sure it's just a body but it's a body that everybody sees and people are going to judge that's just where my headspace is at currently and i'm really scared like i don't want to be afraid to take on new challenges and i'm really really hoping that freeing up the space in my head, taking care of my overall health, which the byproduct of that is that I do lose weight. I'm hoping that I'm going to gain confidence with that. And I think that I will because when I got through my really difficult pregnancy with Bennett, I was just so amazed at what my body had been able to do that I had a huge boost in my confidence, which is what allowed me to start this channel. So I'm hoping that seeing myself get through 21 days of liquid diet and surgery and life after surgery, that I'm just going to be so proud of doing that and surviving that and thriving afterwards that I'm going to be confident. That's, that's the goal and the hope. Okay, um, so I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to leave it at that. I do have to get going because we've got to take Aspen to camp and Bennett to daycare and then... I've got to get to the office and I have a four-way meeting today and it's just, it's going to be a busy day, but it's Friday. Yay. Um, that's all I'm going to say at this point. I don't even know how to wrap this up really. And it's a bit of a stream of consciousness thing. I get that, but thank you for creating a safe space for me to share all of this with you. Um, I've had a lot of people comment either on my videos or again in DMs, things like that saying, that they're so proud of me, grateful that I'm sharing so openly and honestly. Uh, and I'm gonna continue doing that because like I said, there are so many channels where people have had this surgery but they don't start it until after. Um, and I wanna do it now for my own sake but also to help anybody else who might be contemplating the surgery or has it scheduled themselves just to share my experiences and my emotional response to it all because that's the part that I'm concerned about. The physical I'm really not concerned about. It's it's the the mind. So at any rate I'm going to continue sharing but for now I have to get going. Thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch. I'll see you in my next video. Until then just be a decent human being. Bye for now.